guys welcome back my channel your channel in this video I'm gonna talk to you about um, the the deaths uh, celebration in Mexico um, the, the I want to clear the doubt of why like we make up a lot like schools um, like cranes you know and if we adore the dead if we adore evil if we like why do we see um, schools everywhere, you know, like in decorations, in altars, you know, in offerings? And if this is a kind of ritual we do, and what's the, the purpose? What's the purpose of doing these uh, altars, okay? But please, first of all, don't forget subscribing, give your thumbs up and comment if you have any more doubts or, or if you have or you if you if you used to have a wrong idea about you know a wrong bad idea very very like a bad idea or about mm, thoughts about this tradition of us you know okay well guys um first of all like <laughs> mexicans we we don't adore death i uh, regular mexicans we we are mostly catholic or christians you know like we practice the Christianity religion or Catholicism, sometimes Mormon, so, sometimes like um, a witness religion. Uh, but you might be thinking like the ones that might be thinking because I wanted to make this video because I, every time I do a video, I want to, I, I do it thinking like uh, what kind of thing I would like to see, right? Like what might be the doubt running through through people's mind you know through what thoughts are coming in their heads you know and this is something that i'm very sure many people is curious about because it has with all the mass media yeah right like i was telling you with all the mass media uh social networks you know facebook instagram tiktok at this point you have realized that um we <laughs> We celebrate death a lot and especially because the makeup we do on our faces and the way we we the costumes we wear you know like of the katrina especially the women's and men like skeletons you know and, or or use the makeup of a, of a school face right that sometimes when it knows when it's not a quality makeup when it's not very good makeup <laughs> when it's not well done we mostly look more like a like a panda bear you know <laughs> uh but yeah uh, I want to clear this out, especially for many like uh, European people, people that don't speak good English, uh, good people that don't don't talk Spanish at all, or people that don't speak very good Spanish. Um, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. This is a well. This is a very special tradition for us. Um, uh, we have like you already know or you must know like Mexicans we are very family oriented you know we love our fam family or relatives so we made these altars to honor or or dead beloveds you know we put offering offerings in these altars you know like uh, like the favorite things the favorite beverage the favorite food or sometimes even cigarettes of or dead beloved ones uh for they to for their spirit supposedly come you know the house where we make the offering or the historical buildings where we 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 are doing the offering right it is supposed to be like uh like a sharing a convivence with them you know like like a kind of uh meeting with them to reunit with their spirits uh and and that's it that's the whole ritual about you know <laughs> it's mostly to remember them and some people do believe that their spirits comes and, and enjoy all the food or and all the things that we basically put in the offering in the in our altars and some people don't some people just do it for for keeping up with the tradition for and for celebrating you know something it's mostly like a tradition, you know, but yeah, it's like a kind of ritual. Some people even put like, um, what's the name of this thing? Uh, we put like a cup um, made of a uh, mud, you know, a mud cup. It's a, it's a thing called, it's a thing called copal and we burn it 
in order to create the smoke. And supposedly this smoke attracts the spirits of our deaths, right? Or the loved ones. And that's it. Like we basically put the altar, you know, like for example, uh, this celebration happened Monday and today is Today is, what, what the, today is Friday. Okay, sorry. This celebration was November 1st and November 2nd. This, these are the days when, when this celebration uh, uh, with supposedly, like, the tradition is basically this. We put our altars with the beverage, the drinks, the cigarettes. Sometimes we put tequila, sometimes we put beers, you know, if our beloved ones used to drink a lot or used to smoke a lot, you know. <laughs> we put fruits also, mole, tamales, uh, many, many coffee, you know, many, many drinks, many, many delicious things. My favorite fruit in this algarve are mandarins and also canyas. And even peanuts, you know, many things. Okay, so basically we made this altar, for example, yesterday, or, or sometimes it's the, the two, day, two consecutive days, you know, November 1st and November 2nd. And November 3rd is when we can finally, you know, like take this beverage and food from the, from the offering from the altar. We are not supposed to eat this <laughs> when when the altar is is made, you know, because it's for our it is for our beloved ones, okay? So we get it respect. We also tend to say that the kids if we have little kids in the family, you know, in the house where we are putting these altars, like hey, don't touch that. Don't touch that because that is for your pass away aunt or your pass away uncle, your granny, your grandpa, so you you don't got to touch it. So basically, when you see, in resume words, if you, when, whenever you see like this kind of altars, even in big avenues, yeah, important avenues or like historical places in Mexico, you know, in big cities, you even also will see like famous uh, people in portraits. We also put the portraits of our beloved ones. For example, in the, in the altar that the government put in the Mexico City Zócalo, they put uh, the pictures of some uh, historical eras of our uh, Mexican independence or Mexican revolution, you know, like Pancho Villa, like Emiliano Zapata, you know, like famous historical uh, like people, you know. And it's basically for celebrating them. It's like their kind of birthday, right? So, <laughs> yeah, we don't adore that. We are not like sadic. We, we, we don't like killing people. Well. <laughs> no, we don't. We are not like like creeps, you know, we are not like, and yeah, it, I want to relieve this kind of idea some foreign people might have, you know, or English speaker people that don't understand a fuck about this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like this is a tradition, just that only, nothing but that. We, it's a tradition also decorating with schools and bones and skeletons, you know, it's mostly, this part of, of the thing is mostly like trying to copy or like a Halloween version, but Mexican version. And we also like, one thing that has become a trend with the past of the years is making up like a, like a Katrina, you know, or like a school, you know, like a living dead, for example. And, but this doesn't mean that we are satanic. This doesn't mean that we are mean people or we are freaks. It's just a part of the tradition. We have even also contests to see who could who has made this makeup better we are like good uh individuals good human beings you know positive and welcoming friendly when coming warm the way you know us right the way you already know we are that's the way we are we really are okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope i could dissipate this uh maybe bad thoughts wrong ideas these wrong ideas that you might have about us and please don't forget subscribing, share this video with your friends in your Facebook, uh, with anyone that you want, and please give your thumbs up, please. This is very important. Subscribe, activate the bell, and give us your thumbs up, okay? Thanks for watching.